Well, the next person I wanted to talk to is one of the people that actually got me started of vlogging and joining YouTube in the first place. I know I relayed this in a video not long ago, um, but the first person that I ever subscribed to on YouTube, and that was Peter Geriatric 1927. When I first came onto this site, as I said in the sort of Renetto video, Renetto was one of the people that I sort of was first attracted to. I, I, sort of found him babies on the front page of something I really can't remember and then I found Peter through uh, Renetto because I think Renetto had put a, a response because Peter at the time was debating what to do after his initial burst of success and it sort of just went sort of supernova back in the sort of uh, August of 2006 but that's one of the reasons I think that Peter went supernova if you want to call it that went but sort of exploded because he at the time was a 79 year old man grandfather or whatever for a widower from England up there I think he's in Derbyshire or something in England um, and a very ordinary person and an older person an elder statesman should we say uh, the size at the time was perceived as being for the younger people and I thought that as well and Peter showed to me and he showed to a lot of other people that anybody can do this I can have a go at this if a 79 year old grandfather from Derbyshire or something can start putting his face up there and, and not worry about it too much and put himself out there and give it a go try the new technology then surely someone like myself should be able to do that as well so he was very very inspirational in that respect also having watched his videos as well especially in the early days he was very open about his life and it was very interesting to actually listen to his life and he talked about his life um, before his wife had died and after his wife had died and I admired him as much as he changed his life he'd, he'd taken decisions within it throughout his life where he'd sort of suddenly thought no I'm going to do this he had this great love of motorbikes and I think he gave up, gave up a job to sort of pursue that love of motorbikes as well he then sort of went into sort of a college or something a university at quite a late age um, where it was sort of not not the done thing or something something very strange and mixing with a lot of younger people and maybe that's what's uh, encouraged him to get involved with this. It sort of maybe opened his eyes. Not that I don't think he needed that. I think he's got a very level head on him and a very open person as well, very open to listen to people. I mentioned in a, a video recently about uh, age differences as well and how I feel that the age difference on here doesn't really matter. And there is a classic case in point. You know, you've got the people, the sort of teenagers who watch uh, and make videos on YouTube. You've got someone of myself who's sort of middle-aged, if you want to call it that. And then you've got someone like Peter as well. And we're all corresponding. Uh, unfortunately, I've never had the, the privilege of meeting Peter. I'd love to. We did actually correspond back a, year, uh, a long time ago on something that I was talking about, about my father. And he was and he, he responded to, I just happened to send a message or something. And he responded two or three times to those messages. And I was very pleased about that. Another thing that he, he needs to be congratulated about, because it can't be easy with the sort of fame that he's got out of this. Um, the YouTube thing has made it ex explode, as I said, and he's become a very, very well-known person, certainly in Britain, but I think across the world as well. He's become an ambassador for, for YouTube. But he's used that, without for mon not for monetary gain or anything like that, he's used it to sort of point out the, the help that the aged people need, you know, to sort of point out the way that sort of the older generation are perceived and the, the, the way that they're looked at as well. And with the Zimmers band as well, for those who don't know, sort of in Britain, sort of, they did a version of my generation. We've got all these people in the 70s, 80s, there's a guy in there who was 100 years old, just to show that these people could get up there and do it. And, I, and there's an associated TV program that went with it. And once again, I think that opened people's eyes to to the older generation who we tend to sort of gloss over and forget about, you know, we sort of push them to one side. But this is one, one sort of medium that we can actually appreciate the older generation as well by listening to their stories, by seeing that they're, they're still there. They've got, you know, they, they've still got something to contribute. So, as I said, I've got a lot to thank uh, Peter for because he's one of the reasons that I started doing this as well. The first person that I ever subscribed to and then sort of say the connection with Renetto as well. So that's one of the reasons that I got vlogging. The first video that I ever made on that YouTube was a response to uh, to Peter as well. So once again, I've got that to thank him for. So as as per usual, I'll put put his uh, channel page up there. But well, I don't suppose many people, especially the ones in Britain, will need any a reminding of who Peter Geriatric is. So uh, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you very very shortly. Goodbye.